Hi everyone. So today we are going to talk about the back testing Excel, uh, which uh, I have provided uh, in my blog. So how to uh, get to that Excel? Uh, this is my blog. So here uh, we have this master list of strategies uh, blog post. So when I click on it, uh, I can see this uh, RMDD greater than 100 basket, which I've shared with all of you. Now, this is the back testing basket link, uh, which will take me to the Google Drive where this uh, basket is uploaded. Now, uh, you will not be able to put any, make any edits here. Uh, so what needs to be done is you have to come here and uh, download it as uh, Microsoft Excel. Now it will download to the my download uh, folder and uh, here it's opening. So here uh, for the time being, what I've done is I have put uh, the basket which I trade and which can be back tested also. So the lot wise information is there. And uh, these are the strategies. So wherever the lot information is more than zero, it means uh, those are being traded. And uh, these links for the strategy link will take you to the particular strategy blog post on my blog <clears throat> so that you can see the strategy details, what is their back testing, how they are. So in the blog, uh, there'll be one back testing section where you can see how it has performed in back testing. And then uh, uh, there'll be parameters like RMDD, MDD, risk to reward ratio. The, there is a Kelly ratio also, which uh, will tell uh, uh, whether you should put more lots of it. So if it is more than 50%, then you can have more lots of it. If it is just 15, 20, uh, then uh, the lesser lot should be allocated. So that's what Kelly ratio is used for. And then the week wise view is there for the intraday. For expiry day, there is no week wise view because they are anyway to be traded on expiry day. And then we have actual trade section where uh, whatever I have traded, uh, so say this strategy, which I'm showing, I've traded it from uh, uh, May month. So uh, from the May, what kind of profits I'm getting or loss I'm getting will be updated here. And then one uh, the, after that, there'll be a day by day view of uh, how much it appears, I means how much is the p and L on the back testing and how much uh, was for me actual. And then the difference, if difference is high, then we explain why the difference is high. So going back to the, this one. Uh, so this is the strategy detail, uh, which uh, links, which are there on my blog post. And, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, we'll go to the local Excel, which we have downloaded. So here I have included the almost back testing of all the strategies, except two, which I am not uh, able to back test. One is the ATM plus OTM two, which I execute. And another is BN Delta neutral. So those two are not included in this back testing. Other than that, it's uh, all are included. So here, uh, once you have downloaded it into uh, your uh, local PC, like say if I want to see if I just run uh, Nifty Straddle and then BN 200 point strangle, how uh, much profit or backtesting means, what is the backtesting look like? So what I can do is I can just uh, put lot as one, make all other slot zero. And uh, have, BN 200 point as one. So now you can see the total count of strategy is two. And this is the back testing if you just combine those two strategies. So like you can see the MDD for two strategies, the max MDD is minus 15, which is here. The percentage capital MDD is 4.4%, monthly return is 6% which uh, translates to 72% of uh, return on average. And uh, then we have these days here. So like say if I want to run these uh, two strategies, I don't want to run on Tuesday. Like uh, there's a lot of talk going on that Tuesdays are not working good in this year. So I can just put a zero here. <clears throat> and uh, then you can see the uh, distribution. Now we can see the MDD has gone above. 
so it uh, for this particular combination it doesn't work and same way i can uh, just uh, make friday as zero if i don't want to trade it on friday and then yeah the mdd has improved here yeah, like we can see but then the return has also gone down because we are not trading it on friday so uh, that's uh, uh, how you can adjust it for a given particular combination of strategies and get the results and in addition to that like say uh, there is one more condition say i want to trade uh, maybe straddle on all days but uh, i don't want to trade uh, this 200 point on tuesday and fridays so what i can do uh, i will leave 111 here so i'll not do the change at the master level but what i'll be doing is uh, then uh, at the strategy level also <coughs> we have these uh, uh, lots so i can put one here and uh, say uh, this nifty straddle i want to trade all days and uh, 200 point uh, strangle i don't want to trade on tuesday so i'll make it zero and i don't want to trade it on friday now let's see how the back testing looks like so uh, now we can see like the back testing uh, means the mdd has increased uh, so it doesn't uh, seems as a good one but then you can try it now say if i want to uh, maybe trade two lots of uh, nifty straddle and maybe one lot of uh, this one uh, so that also can be done so here i will so here i will put the lot size as one only but here i can modify the lot size so here i put the lot size two for all days so now the back testing looks like this so here we are uh, trading with three lots so again, this has, uh, the MDD has increased, but then the monthly returns have also increased. So uh, that way means this Excel can be used uh, to uh, combine, uh, to test, backtest various uh, options. Uh, and uh, currently, uh, generally I update it uh, during the weekend. So the Excel which you are going to see uh, means, uh, which will, uh, have updated this is updated till 4th November but every weekend the back testing data for the active strategies like which I am trading will get updated on a uh, weekend uh, on a weekly basis so the active strategies uh, are either marked uh, with this uh, uh, wherever the lot size is uh, updated as uh, more than one more than zero those are the uh, actively traded strategies and uh, so this is the my basket so currently uh, i'm trading around 40 strategies and add uh, two more strategies to that so that will become 42 and like there are different time frame and same strategies on different time frame <clears throat> like this xd itm one is there so it is the expiry day strategy where we are doing the same setup at 9.25 11.30 and uh, 13.30, same way for the ATM also. So same logic, like what we are doing for ITM one, we are doing for ATM, but at different time frames. So uh, that way, uh, means in Tradetron, we can all code this in one strategy, or uh, we can all combine them into one strategy also, means uh, the one which I'm running uh, combines these, uh, three strategies item 1 9 25 11 30 13 30 then it includes the nifty expiry day and uh, recently i've started running fin nifty expiry also so all those are combined into one uh trade run strategy and which i'll be sharing along with a video to explain how that can be done uh, in one single strategy so even if you go with a plan of uh, just one strategy you can run multiple uh, different strategy in that one single plan itself you don't need to go for a five strategy plan or 10 strategy plan so uh, uh, with that i think this will be helpful for you i uh, mean uh, these kind of strategies which i'm running and their back testing detail and then you can try various combinations uh, after downloading it so that's all for today thanks uh,